We got a lot of work to do. And I'm looking at this sign before me and it says, nine years of war and I still can't believe we still have to protest this ish. My sentiments exactly. We are tired of this. We've had enough. We want our folks to come home. Seven years later, we still, you know, need to change our U.S. foreign policy and bring our troops home. We need to end the occupation of Iraq, Afghanistan, and Palestine. Stop the expanding tax on the Middle East. No drone strikes in Pakistan. I mean, enough is enough. We're tired of it, and we're showing that by coming here and supporting it. Hi, I'm John Gresho, and I coordinate the Military and Draft Counseling Project, which is a part of the War Resisters League Portland chapter. War is hell. War is a cowardly escape from the problems of peace. All wars are fought for money. That's actually a quote from Socrates. <laughs> war is the enemy. War, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Or as, jo or as the comedian George Carlin has said many times, it's all bullshit and it's bad for you. War is not glamorous or glorious. It's not an adventure. It's not God's work and it's not a video game. War is not a passport to adulthood, as recruiters used to say. And it's not a passport to citizenship. It's not the best way to get to college or to get job training. I want to really impress upon you all the importance of outreach to young people around this issue. The importance of counter Kind of recruiting work in, in public schools. As Eugene Debs once said a long time ago, I would no more teach children military training than teach them arson, robbery, or assassination. Yet we have military recruiters in all of our, all of our public schools all throughout the, the country, all telling kids half-truths and lies, trying to convince them to sign up for the military, bribing them with money for college and promises of job training, travel and adventure and that kind of thing. The Military and Dra Draft Counseling Project along with Recruiter Watch PDX um, try to do outreach work to students in the schools. We stand out in front of Portland high schools and pass on information to schools in the mornings. We need help with that. We buy ads in student newspapers. We need help organizing that. We speak in classes sometimes and we lobby the Portland School Board for better policy around, mil around military access. We need help with all those things. And it's, it's really important. Um, I saw a bumper sticker the other day that said this, the problems we face will not be solved by the minds that created them. We really need to reach out to our young people because they're the future and they're the ones who are going to be making future decisions about whether our country goes to war or not. We need to dispel the myths about that war is glamorous and glorious, and we need to give students the support and the information they need so that they can make good decisions in the future. Medina. Um, I'm a program director with the American Friends Service Committee. Um, the main thing that I do is a youth program called United Voices. And what we do is we work with young people, especially marginalized youth, youth of color, queer youth, all forms of youth to work in counter recruitment and peace activities. Um, one thing that we're really trying to work on is getting youth um, free of militarization and militar military free schools. So it's something that's very important. If people want to enlist, let youth go and enlist themselves when they turn 18. But we don't need military recruiters inside of our schools militarizing our young people. Um, we meet every Thursday at the American Friends Service Office. So if you know of any youth that would like to learn about activism or mobilizing folks in the peace movement when they are young and growing into adulthood, then please 
send them my way. We work very hard. We create a zine. We travel. We teach workshops. Well, actually, I don't. The youth do. Um, and we have some other youth, but these are some of the youth that I work with. Again, we are called United Voices from the American Friends Service Committee, fighting militarism all over the world, one youth at a time. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Darlene, AKA Black Butterfly. I'm a spoken word artist, community activist, youth advocate, guerrilla theater facilitator, you name it, I do it. I'm gonna share some spoken word with you. My people, my people, my people are. My people, my people, my people are. Trapped behind enemy lines, know everything ain't fine. These folks keep messing with our minds. Got my face pressing up against this grate and it's tearing up my face, but freedom is on the other side, I can taste it. I said freedom is on the other side, I can taste it. See, we are in a system of things as far as the pendulum swings from left to right, trying to bring some dark places light. See, by the time you get this, there'll be 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 or more casualties of war, and they won't even know it. See, everything you see and do, they're trying to control you. Cell phones on star, TiVo, GPS, satellite radios. Oh yeah, no commercials. See, we live in the highest unemployment state, and Bush had folks donating 2,000 a plate, and we didn't line up the fences of U of P. What happened to all the revolutionaries? See, wasn't that you standing next to me at the Panther exhibit? Oh yeah, that's right. Some of y'all wasn't with it. But we are still reaping the benefits of it. You know that breakfast program and that free lunch program that you send your children to every day? That was implemented by the Panthers. See, we are all striving to reach heights never reached. And I pray that we remember to teach. Each one, reach one. Each step that we take brings us to a more enlightened place where we dwell in love and not hate. Each one, teach one is the way it is done. Interject your intellect. And where your intellect falls short, find a child running wild and teach them what you know. Make sure that our seeds continue to grow. 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 Sure seeds continue to grow. Tame them with spiritual wisdom of knowledge of self and of wealth or the lack of it. Teach them of capitalism, racism, sexism, spiritualism, and all those other isms that cause folks to build themselves in cages from which they cannot escape. And slavery is on the rise again, but this time we are not bound physically. We are entrapped mentally, and it's disguised as prosperity. Got you chasing after a brass ring instead of lifting up your voices and singing. We have the power in our hands. 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 See, we are all prisoners of war. But what side are you fighting for? You're doing what you can do, rising up and taking action. Let's take it to the streets.